Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and today I'm showing you guys how to install better lights to your LSPDFR. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is open up the first download link down in the description below. That's going to bring you guys right here to the better light mod. I have done a video on this a while ago, it wasn't the best video because I was not feeling the best and in general it just wasn't a good video. So I thought I'd redo it again now so I actually can show you guys properly on how to install this. So just before we get started, if you guys haven't already subscribed, Please just subscribe since it really, really helped me out. And please be sure to smash that like button and comment down below if it did help you out or not. And what you guys are going to want to do is head down here and click download this file. Make sure you guys are installing the latest version available to you. Click here and then it will start installing it. I will never understand why the click here option is here because they may as well just install it straight away. But open up the download. And then double click on better emergency lights and then files. And here is where we're going to be installing our files. So first thing you guys are going to want to do is open up your GTA 5 main directory in your file explorer. So to do that, what you guys are going to want to do is go to whatever drive you've installed it on. Go to program files 86. And then go down to Steam. Steam apps and common. Choose the GTA 5 folder that you guys want to mod and then inside of here you guys are going to want to go to the emergency lights on walls and buildings go to Grand Theft Auto V and then just drag and drop this ELS.ini folder into your GTA 5 game. Replace the ELS that's already in your game and now for one more thing to install you guys are going to want to open up OpenIV so we can get into your update to RPF folders and all those joyous things and then once that's opened up select Windows like usual let it start up and once this is started up you guys are going to want to navigate to your mods folder like so so go to your mods folder and then go to update and then go to x64 never mind go to update and then go to update to RPF common and data sorry about that one and then all you guys are going to want to do is double click on this one right here very bright or bright you can choose the one you want I'd recommend bright since very bright is really really bright so just go for bright and then just drag and drop this visual settings dot folder into here if it doesn't let you make sure in edit mode and make sure all your ASI tools have been successfully installed like mine have just drag and drop it in and there you guys go your GTA 5 better emergency lights has successfully been installed to your LSPDFR GTA 5 Hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, do all the things we listed in the beginning of this video. Subscribe, like, comment down below, and also make sure you check out my Discord. If you also want to help me a little bit further, you can click that blue join button next to the subscribe button where you can pay a monthly subscription and get early access to all my videos and a bunch more. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.